I'm here to talk about a new study in my laboratory that is looking at a new cause of post-stroke dementia, an autoimmune response. So we've discovered that late after stroke, mice and people can develop immune responses against their own brain tissue. And in mice, that causes dementia that happens late after stroke. Well, it, it's a brand new study, and so our next step is to move forward into people. And we're just basically starting to do that now. But we want to figure out how many people this happens in and how, whether it is a major cause. And we think it's a major cause based on the data we have so far. It's a little unclear. So in the mice, we've been able to prove that it's actually the B lymphocytes themselves that are causing dementia, and we can take them away five days after stroke and prevent the mice from getting memory impairment. So we think, so B lymphocytes are the cells that make antibodies. So if you could imagine, like, if you were vaccinated, then you develop antibodies against whatever you're vaccinated against. So we think that people are, and definitely mice, are developing antibodies against brain tissue and that they're binding to proteins and sort of targeting them for damage by the immune system. It's a huge risk. So depending on the study, 30 to 60 percent of people that have a stroke will have dementia within a decade after the stroke. So there's 33 million people alive today in the world that have had a stroke. So that's a lot of people. And probably something like half of them have dementia directly as a result of the stroke. And about half of them will have dementia from other causes, probably Alzheimer's disease and other vascular causes like stiffened blood vessels, for example. So it's very early to say. We're really excited by the mouse study. I think it's, it's difficult to estimate how many people this might affect, but when we look in the brains of people that died with stroke and dementia, about half of them actually had excess immune cells in the strokes. And so it could be up to half of people with stroke that have this process going on, and it could be preventable. Is so there? that would cure some subset, but potentially like a third to half, which would be a lot. Definitely. There's a lot of differences between a mouse brain. So a mouse brain is about the size of your thumb. Your brain is bigger, hopefully. My brain is bigger, hopefully. So, um, so size is one different. But the immune system of a mouse is actually pretty similar to a human immune system, and we've seen similar responses in people. I think one of the major differences, though, is timing. So you cannot study what happens in a mouse over a decade because they don't live for a decade. So we have to learn more about what happens over time.